Okay, guys, we are going to start on our last day working on this digital life book. Um, you should be on slide 23 by now. And remember, the answer key is in the assignment. And also, there are videos that you have to watch. If you see a video, you have to watch it. If there's a blank, you have to answer questions. So right here, um, we see the way to balance is we have FE and we have O on this side. We have FE and we have O on this side. We have one FE, two O's. Over here, we have two FEs and three O's. The easiest thing, I know these are together, so I'm going to, this two and three might be complicated, so we find the least common denominator, which is a two and three, that's six. So I'm going to make both, both of them six. To make this one six on the left side, on the reactant side, I need something in front of here to multiply by two to get six, which I know is three. Three times two is six. Over here, I have a little three, so I'm going to multiply something by three to get six. That would be two. 2 times 3 is 6. But what did that just do to my iron? Now I have 2 times 2 is 4 irons, so I need 4 over here. I could fix that by putting a 4 right in front of it. So to check yourself, you go I have 4 FEs. 2 times 2 is 4 FEs. 3 times 2 is 6 oxygens. 2 times 3 is 6 oxygens. So that is what you need there. Alright, and we are going to go to the next slide. Now, this one is a little bit easier. So we're gonna write Na, I, and Cl. Over here we're gonna write them in the same order, even though they're not in the same order, Na, I, and Cl, so that we can balance them. So I have one of these and then two Cl's, and I have one of these and two I's. So my Cl's and my I's need to be fixed. So right here I see I need two I's. I'm going to put a 2 out in front of it. That's going to make my sodium a 2. So on this side, I need my sodium to be a 2. When I put the 2 out in front of sodium, that makes my chlorine a 2. And when you look at the bottom, you have 2 and 2 and 2 and 2 and 2 and 2. So when you go back through, you notice you have 2 CLs, 2 CLs, 2 and A's, 2 and A's, 2 I's, and 2 I's. Okay, so work the next one on your own. You can check the answer key for that one. And we are going to move on to this one. This is the exact same thing. You are going to balance it by typing the right coefficient in front so that they are balanced. Okay, if I want to work this out, I could do N, you do this on paper, and F, and N, and F. Okay, I have two N's, two F's. I have one N and three F's. So three and two are usually the hardest ones to balance. We know it has to be the least common denominator, which is six. So I'm going to change that to 6. So what do I have to put out in front of F2 to get 6? Well, I have to put a 3 because 3 times 2 is 6. And out in front of this, I would need a 2 because 2 times 3 would need to be 6. That made my N a 2, and now we're balanced. Okay, so just go through and look at the answer key and see if you can figure out how to work through those. Okay, you're going to answer 27 and 28. And then we're going to move on. Now on 30, you need to watch this video and answer these questions. So it says, why are some touching each other? Why are others not touching? Can I break apart a group of atoms in order to balance my equation? The answer to this one at the bottom is no. Be sure you answer those. Now, right here, these are a little different. Okay, so we want a visual representation of it being balanced. Now, if you go to the answer key, you can see this. But like, for instance, right now I have one Li, and I have two oxygens, and then I have Li2O. Now, if you look at this, you can see I have one blue over here and two blue over here. So that is not going to work, okay? So I may need more than one of these, but I, I need more lithiums too. So let me get the blues right first. I see I have one blue here and two blue here. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and make it another one over here. They have to stay the same, so I'm gonna take, oh wait. So look, if I move this up here, now I have two blue O's and two blue O's, so that's good. But I have four lithiums, so all I need to do here is move four lithiums. And now we're balanced, because look, we have one, two, three, four lithiums, one, two, three, four lithiums, two O's, two O's. So that is how you do 31, 32, 
okay? And then look at the video right here. You have to watch the sample problem. And then we are going to do the last two slides, 34 and 35. I'm going to actually do 35 with you. This is also on the answer key. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I always like to do this first, is just balance it, all right? So I've got AG, I've got nitrogen, so silver and nitrogen, I write them all down. And on this side I have AG and I have nitrogen. Okay, I have three AGs on this side, one nitrogen, I have one AG and two nitrogen. Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit different. So the first thing I see, the easiest thing for me to fix is going to be this two and the one. So I can easily just make this a two. So my two is gonna to have to go in front of it in order to make that a two. So then I take two times three is six, and one can go into six, so we can just make this six, and we can put a coefficient in front of AG. And now when you're done, you can look and say, okay, I have two times three is six AG, six AG, two nitrogens, two nitrogens. So I know that I'm done balancing, but, what you can do now, and you need to do in order to get full credit, is drag your pieces. So I have two AG3N. So I'm going to drag AG3N. There's one of them. My coefficient says I need two. Okay. And then I have six AGs by themselves. So I have one. It's going to be time sensitive. Two, three, three, four, two more, five, six. Okay, so I have six AG, and then I need two N2. So here's my N2. I've got two nitrogens connected together. Nope, I don't need two because look, there's no coefficient. I just need one of them. So now if it's balanced, you'll see the same number on both sides. Because remember this uh, thing in the middle, the arrow could be an equal sign. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six AGs. One, two, three, four, five, six AGs, two nitrogens, and two nitrogens. So you are balanced. So go ahead and make sure you have all of the slides complete. Once you do, you can turn it in.